Today, I'm addressing you, the person who's been affected with sickness and illness. I sincerely pray for you by saying, Shafaakumullahu wa afakum. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant you cure. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant you miraculous recovery. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant you good health. May Allah grant you a speedy and complete return to normal health. And may Allah make you even better than what you were before. You who are ill, you who are sickly, remember every droplet of patience would earn you a great reward. So be patient. Be calm, take your medication, call out to Allah alone, ask Allah to cure you and make sure that you are doing whatever the experts have told you to do. Subhanallah. Sickness is also a gift from Allah. It should be drawing you closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in every aspect of that relationship. So your prayers and so much more. Your speaking with Allah. Many of us don't communicate with Allah. We speak to him through dua, through supplication, through complaining to him about our own weakness and asking him to strengthen us. May Allah grant you cure. La ba's tahur inshallah. May Allah grant you purity. May Allah grant you uh, that which is a blessing from him. May something good come out of this illness. And inshallah, you will be back to normal. Remember, be very, very firm in your conviction regarding a Shafi who is the curer. The owner of cure, Allah. Allahumma shfi anta shafi. La shifa'a illa shifa'uk. Shifa'un la yugadiru saqaman wa la summan wa la alama. O oh Allah, grant cure. You are indeed the owner of cure. There is no cure besides your cure. Cure that would eradicate all pain. It would eradicate all sickness, all illness, all disease. May Allah truly grant you cure. My brother, my sister. We are part of one huge family known as the Ummah. The Ummah, this beautiful nation. We are Muslimin, we are believers, we are humankind. Remember, we're reaching out to, to you today with a dua. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala truly grant you patience. And may He grant you shifa. That patience we're talking about. Many of us have tasted sickness and disease and illness. Perhaps not just like what you have right now, but remember that conviction the faith that you have in Allah, Allah will grant you a cure. And if Allah does not grant you a cure, Subhanallah, the fact that we were patient and we kept remembering Allah and praising Him and glorifying Him, that would earn us paradise. At the end of the day, we all have to return to Allah. I have to go back to Allah and so do you. There are people who were not sickly, who've already returned to Allah suddenly, either through an accident or some other means. And us who are ill, let's make peace with Allah. Seek the forgiveness of Allah. May Allah grant us all forgiveness. Because if Allah forgives us, we will earn Jannah and Paradise without reckoning. And Subhanallah, remember to send blessings and salutations upon Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We usually are taught to say Sallallahu Ala Muhammad. But in a better way, in a more prolonged way, we can say Allahumma Salli Ala Sayyidina Muhammadin Wa Ala Ali Sayyidina Muhammadin Wa Barik Wa Sallim. And there are so many other ways of declaring that beautiful, beautiful thing known as Salawat Ala Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. My brothers and sisters, like we say, today we are visiting you through the screen. Yes, it is a sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, to visit those who are sick and ill and to pray for them. So here we are. This is a visit to you, my brother, my sister. We love you so much. We care for you. Here we are. We feel your pain. And that's the reason why I truly, from the bottom of my heart, reach out to all those who are sick and ill and say, Oh Allah, grant my brother or my sister. Ya Allah, grant them cure. Ya Allah, safeguard them. Let their health return in a miraculous way to better than what it was. Pure cure. May Allah purify all of us. Ameen. Aqulu qawli hadha. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.